Hi everybody! Today's video is about the modulation effect and there was this problem that it seemed to not modulate your signal until you opened the plugin again. So um, if you saved your project and reopened your project, you had to open all the instances of this modulation effect again to take effect. That's not intended and I solved that. And while doing so, I recognized that I could make a much better modulation effect with uh, the knowledge I have now. So there is modulation 2, which comes bundled with the modulation effect with the update. In order to modulate your signal, you always need something that modulates your signal. And um, this is um, called an LFO, a low frequency oscillator. And this is the left side of the um, plugin. And the right side of the plugin is the modulation effect itself. But let's first focus on the left side. And um, here we have the modulation speed. It's now set to 2 Hz. We can slow that down. And you can pull the, um, the rate up to, to 5 Hz, which is already quite fast. And then you can multiply the rate by 10. So that then will be really fast. But let's get back to a very slow rate so we can visually see what's going on here. So um, this is our modulation shape. It's a sinus shape. And we can switch that shape um, to a flip shape or a um, sawtooth up or a sawtooth down or a triangle shape. And we can always um, move the phase. So um, this is one important thing about this new plugin, that the, um, the phase position of the um, LFO is always connected to your playback position of the project. So um, it will not just um, return the phase and phase again and phase again and phase again. Um, it will always be at the same position of your phase, at the same position of your song in every playback. And it always starts at this position on the um, left side at the start of your project and then will be running on the um, tempo you give the phase but it will always, if you play back from some position in your project, have the exact position you set for this um, rate. And so with the phase shift, you can shift the start position of, um, of the LFO, um, which is also the start position of your project. And if you want to have stereo effects, you can phase shift the right channel. So this will be the blue line yet now. Um, so you see it's blue and it's green. And see um, these um, pointers moving. So um, for your modulation effect, you now have different phase positions on the left and the right channel. Of course, you can um, tempo sync this. So um, I could go to one cycle per bar or one cycle per two bars, or one cycle, uh, or two cycles per bar, which is uh, one uh, by two, and so on. Um, so you can um, synchronize the rate to your um, BPM tempo, and you can also make a triolic or dotted. On the right side, you can choose from um, different um, modulation effects. So um, you can send this um, LFO to a um, tremolo effect. So you see here the volume for the left channel and the right channel oh, as a result. So you can't um, click and, and move these. These are just showing you the result. And here you can um, set the amount, so the dry or wet amount. You can use this um, modulation LFO 
on an auto pawn, so your pawn always um, drives around from left to right channel, and here you can set dry and wet, so it doesn't move that far if you go more to the dry side. On the wet side, you will um, have really left to right and left to right and left to right. On the filter section, um, this is a kind of equalizer, which is um, modulated. Um, so you have a basic frequency and a frequency drift amount. And the more you turn it up, the more the frequency drifts um, around the center frequency. Um, and that will be uh, influenced by the shape you give it here. So you see the result. This is also not a control, just a result showing knob. And um, you can set the frequency and the drift and um, the Q factor for that filter. And um, this is um, the filter type. So you have a low pass filter, a high pass filter, a band pass filter, or a peak filter, um, which gives you uh, the control over um, how much dB you want to boost or cut um, the result. And then you have the classic uh, modulation effects such as the flanger, or uh, sorry, the phaser, um, the flanger, and the chorus effect. Now the project is in stop mode, so there's no playback at all. Um, but still these um, things are moving, um, even though they really don't have an exact position because that is stuck to the timeline of the project, as I told you. Um, so you could click from the menu, run on stop, and um, disengage that. And now it stays where the project um, would put these pointers. Um, but if you're uh, monitoring for maybe a um, recording session, um, you want to have the playback uh, or the effect uh, even in stop mode. When it comes to just mixing, it um, doesn't really matter if this is checked or not. Um, but sometimes it helps to uncheck this um, to see what's going on on an exact position. Well, that was a lot of explanation. Um, let me remove these two from the master and let's hear um, how it can sound. So here we have a project um, which is uh, made up of some um, first recordings for a song um, by the band Commando P, uh, which I already um, used another song from that album for my videos. And um, these are the first raw recordings and I just put this thing together for this video. So if there's uh, something about the playing or you think, well, that's not so mixed properly, well, it's just for uh, demoing this plugin. Um, let's hear the guitars um, without the modulation effects and listen for a while. And you first hear uh, an intro with sustained played guitars, uh, and then they go to some kind of riff, and then you have some uh, dead note uh, strokes and stuff. Um, let's just hear a bit. So now when it comes to mixing, when it comes to sound design, if you will, um, you would like to add some, some effects on this. Um, so maybe uh, we'd like to hear um, a flanger on the start. So now as you can see, um, I have a flanger here um, and this is um, the automation for the mix um, or dry wet or how you want to call it knob. Um, so in the intro, we start with a flanging um, guitar boss, and when it comes to the riff, um, the flanging stops, and when it comes to these um, dead note drums, uh, the flanger will again be engaged. Sounds like this. I think um, maybe it's a bit of, of a doing, but I'm de demoing. 
but I think you get the idea from getting uh, from a kind of boring, just guitar sustained chords sound uh, to a more interesting sound for the listener. So now I've engaged another uh, modulation to um, effect, and this is a phaser for the um, riff guitar sound. So um, we have a fade from the flanger to the um, phaser sound um, in the automation. Let's hear how that sounds. I think that makes sense for the um, for the riff sound, and um, I've set a third um, modulation two on the guitar boss, uh, which gives us a um, wah wah from the um, from the filter effects section, and this I only used on the um, on the dead strum thingy here. And that also makes sense. So um, let's uh, play that back in context with all of those um, three modulations effects um, at once. And this track also features a lead guitar, um, which plays a little melody. And um, I'd like to show you what I've done to this lead guitar. So um, here is the raw recording. And the first step I did was giving some more um, highs in the um, in the boost section of the um, EQT 1A, um, sounds like this. And then the first modulation comes in place, um, which is a slow autopan. So the, um, the guitar moves uh, from side to side. Then I use uh, the delay machine in the um, tape mode um, on, on eighth notes um, to give it a bit more, um, yeah, <laughs> simply a delay, but uh, more a vibe. I must confess it's a bit of an 80s style uh, guitar sound already. Uh, but don't worry, I will be fine with the uh, next modulation, which is a bit fast and uh, funny here. But um, this is a tremolo effect, and um, this is set to the flip-flop um, setting. So it will really chop the sound. Um, let's listen to that. And for a bit of um, stereo effect, I set an offset from the left to the right channel on that. So in context, it can sound like this. So now in my demo, I left out the um, the chorus section, but I think you all will figure out how that works. Um, and that's it for today. I hope you have fun with the plugins, and bye-bye. <laughs>